Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the general energies for today. Nuggets, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate it. It helps the channel to grow. It helps the message get out to more people. And yes, it does make me feel good. So by all means, please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content and other services that I provide. I also have opened up uh, a store for my jewelry. It is Earth, Steel, and Stone, so please check that out as well. Um, right now, if you do not see something on there that you like but you would like to um, still work with me we can commission something specific and special and unique just for you just contact me via email or um, through the site okay alrighty then nuggets it's been one this morning it's been one like the past 48 hours so um, we are going to just go ahead and get into it and see what's the what, okay? All right, so TT Music Oracle Message, and we'll get to that in a minute. Channel songs, because we have a, quite a few of them. We have six channel songs for today. Here we go. All right, first one is Me by Oshun. It Kills Me by Melanie Fiona, Take a Bow by Madonna, Take a Bow by Rihanna, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley and the Wailers, and Ebony Eyes by Rick James featuring Smokey Robinson. That's a lot going on. Um, and particular message that I am getting right now is as you focus on you, as you build you, as you connect more with yourself and divine within you, it's, um, it is one, it's killing the ego lessening the ego you can't completely kill the ego but it is um lessening the ego this could be within you and also with someone else um but we have with the two different take a bows one is very peaceful and you know i'm just just all right, going to bow out gracefully. And the other one is uh, taking a bow because either you or someone has shown their ass. There's that part. But um, with the three little birds, it's, you know, every little thing's going to be all right because it is what it is. All right. Um, and with the ebony eyes it's more of a you know a recognition of a new space a new place that you're in a new understanding that you have it could also be um the space of you walking away from something that no longer serves you and as soon as you release and let go of whatever this energy is that is needing to be let go of or seen from a different perspective something new automatically immediately comes in god closes one door and opens up another all right so tt music oracle message for the collective this is some interesting energy it's very um it's very matter of fact, but it's also um, felt in some ways, okay? So, let's do what we do, right? Let's do what we do.
All right. We have Who Runs the World by Beyonce. Spend My Life by Eric Benet and Tamia. Work by B uh, Rihanna. Goodness. And under the deck, we have John B. Say I Do. Um, for some of you, this is having accepted something as what it is. Or, you know, you, you've got married and you say, you're saying I do. And now you're in that mode of um, doing what needs to be done, showing up in the world, putting your best foot forward, being dutiful, being um, committed, and, you know, putting in the work, okay? For others of you, it doesn't have to do with um, marriage per se, but it does have to do with um, making a commitment and be that to yourself, to a job, to... Um, a specific group or a mindset you've said you know you've taken on and accepted something um, and committed to it and in you doing so um, the world has opened up to you and you are now in the driver's seat okay and you being in the driver's seat is very much you, you know, saying, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. This is what um, I want to do. This is how I show up. This is me. And dedicated to, to putting in whatever the work is that you need to do to accomplish your goal, to... Um, be determined and steadfast in um, whatever it is you are giving yourself over to. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Wild unknown animal spirit messages for whoever resonates with this for today. All right. We have the camel. Pressing forward, looking back over the things that you have, uh, that you've accomplished, but still recognizing that there's still a little bit more for you to do. You still have um, uh, enough reserve to keep going. You still have to, you know, stand up and put in the work, but, and you're tired, but you still got you still got it in use. You still have enough push, enough reserve, enough um, energy, time, space, love to keep going, to keep doing, to keep... Um, I, I hear um, simply read, I'll keep holding on. Under the deck, we have the cobra. Something that you initiated, something that uh, you started, um, you're still, you know, you're still going at. For others of you, this is um, some kind of, I'm, I'm hearing it, prison, whatever, it's some kind of venom or um, something that was meant to destroy you couldn't. And now you're moving on. You see it for what it is. You're looking, you'll look it straight in the face and face it. But you'll also know that whatever tried to take you out, you're still here. I like that. It's, it's, it's a lot of fire, but um, there's this element of um, water with the camel. There's, there's still some um you you there's there you you still have not given up is what i'm getting okay you still have not given up you have not allowed whatever this um whatever this is 
that was sent to um, invade your space, you still have the enough to, to keep going, even as, you know, treacherous as this has been is even as hard as this has been you have not allowed it to spread completely to your heart space okay those were two separate messages all right nuggets take any of this as it applies the whole message may resonate just a portion of it may resonate but just take it as it applies, okay? If you want to delve more into something, give me a shout and a holler, okay? Right. Card number 48, the collective of pixies. Um, put it in the work. For some of you, this is, you know, a new work experience, a new job. And you are coming into um, a situation where there's, you know, a lot of other people, and you know, you are joining the joining the mix, or um, this is you graduating. This is you um, upgrading as far as being seen in the collective. All right, you doing your part, doing your portion, doing your work, putting in, being committed to it. It may not be all shits and, you know, it may not be all fun and games, but it is, you know, somewhere that you can, you know, move and groove and still be um, who you are and still contribute. All right. Under the deck, we have card number 43, and this is Geo the Slow. Geo the Slow speaks to um, taking your time, um, putting in the, the work that needs to be done, but also allowing divine timing, okay? You plant a seed, it doesn't, you know, yield fruit tomorrow. You plant a seed and... You allow things to grow and develop um, naturally. So you've put in the work to um, understand something. You've put in the work when it comes to um, whatever it is that you've started, you've initiated, and allowing it just to develop, being patient with yourself, being patient with um, the collective, being patient with your environment, the people that you work with, just allowing things to develop naturally. I'm really hearing Take About by um, Madonna right now. The masquerade is getting old. The lights are low and the curtain's down. Hmm. All right. So from the good tarot, we have the King of Air, the King of Swords. Um, this is being very clear, taking authority, being very logical in the situation. For some, this could be um, a boss or this could be you um, coming into a place where again if it's a new job you are establishing yourself or this is you um, seeing someone to someone who is uh, very clear and in, in authority and makes decisions um, this is also someone who sees you very clearly. Um, and if they are in any way confused about 
whatever it is that's going on they will come straight to you directly to you speak their truth ask their question get to the core of something um be very direct okay under the deck we have wow the king of water the king of cups this is um this is that emotional but very logical it's a balance it's a very balanced energy this is balanced masculine energy um, I'm getting that this um, oh okay I am getting that um, this masculine person is very attracted to you and you don't have to be a female just you know take this as it applies um, this masculine energy has been very attracted to you but um, trying to develop things slowly develop and understand their emotions trying to um, for some of you tame their lustful energy their fiery energy taming that um, and uh, doing so because they are so um, emotionally overwhelmed with how they feel all right um, but now this is you know okay I'm cool I got this I can control it I can handle it um, I can now present myself as um, very logical very clear and very uh, understood and understanding Oh, who is this? Is this you, Nuggets? You've gotten your emotions under control? I like this. Being sound, I am getting. Emotionally, psychologically sound. Huh, okay. Okay, the spirit animal oracle, card number nine, brown bear spirit. Take time out. This is um, knowing when, where, and how much. Being very direct in what it is that you are giving, what it is that you are speaking. Um, getting understanding and clarity on what it is that you see and how you're to proceed forward taking that step back you know i'm very much about practicing the pause getting as much information and clarity as you need and then moving forward very much about that under the deck we have card number 45 parrot spirit watch your words yeah yeah For some, this is um, understanding that possibly in your past you were um, speaking more from uh, a place of emotion that was um, not healed. It was very venomous um, and slowly but surely come into the understanding that your words have power and um being direct in what you're saying so now it's like oh okay so now i have to make sure that i know what's going on for others of you this is um um being covered being prayed for not necessarily knowing but still being very um this is a lot of i'm getting this as you know a very like overseer over like a protector kind of energy coming in and um just 
you know, standing very tall between you and whatever this collective is, whatever, whoever these, um, these people are that you work with, possibly. Um, this could be friend group, family dynamic, what have you. But a very clear and um, protective energy coming in and saying, hey, all right, enough is enough. We're going to take a time out. We're going to sit down and get things straight. Or this is them getting someone straight. Um, or you getting someone straight, standing up for yourself um, by uh, retreating or standing up for yourself by speaking clear and then, you know, doubling down on this is where I stand. It's a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot going on. a lot going on but there's I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing a balance an energetic balance though the the masculine energy is very clear um, in not only what they think but also clear in what they feel working on healing something and going after what it is that they truly want and desire doesn't have to be male again nuggets doesn't have to be male this could be um, a female in their um, clearing and uh, in a grounded and very clear and mindful masculine energy first I mean I'm hearing developing developing all right from the starseed oracles the guidance for today star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation for some of you these these understandings this situation is calling you to pull back from um, a collective energy pull back from a situation you've been going and doing and working and pressing and now it's time for you to take that time out because you are getting a lot of um, outside influences rather than clarity of yourself so pulling away so that you can um, hear your own mind, hear your own guidance, hear your own heart, okay? Um, leaving behind any overwhelming emotional, um, any emotional draw. There's a lot of blue here I'm looking at. So using your voice, using your throat chakra, also um, getting messages from your higher self and from your higher beings as far as communication getting a lot of information coming in for you and you're like okay i need to sit myself down so that i can understand all of this writing something down getting um um for some getting a word or just a very quick um hey this 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 and this and you're like whoa and it blows you away and it immediately gets you into this um all right it's time for me to go it's time for me to do this it's time for me to be activated in this place and space so take it how it applies for you okay under the deck we have a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision what you have been working for, working towards, um, being mindful of um, what's being said to you, around you, and from you, you are now just like, okay, me watching my words, me watching how I think, me watching how I take in information from the outside world, knowing that I need to 
integrate this, but do this in my own understanding, in my own way, and being very committed to you, committed to your purpose, your understanding, um, committed to whatever the project is that is before you right now, being very dedicated to yourself and dedicated to um, being um, emotionally sound. Again, I'm here emotionally sound and um, intellectually sound, being clear of mind and emotion. and then going after what it is that you want. I like this. It's a lot of determination, a lot of putting behind you the things that don't serve you and going after what you want, being very, again, steadfast and determined to press forward. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. It may be um, a little heavy, but it is um, very direct. I am getting a very direct and straightforward kind of energy, okay? All right, Nuggets, I am going to leave it there. The energies and signs that you could be dealing with at this time. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, um, no, no, no. Leo. Yep. All right, Nuggets. I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.